All right, so I think there are four types of categories of different stackers or ways to stack. And in this video, I wanna cover those four categories. So stay tuned, let's see where you fall. All right, everyone, welcome back once again. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the channel. And don't forget, guys, if you're new, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button right there. I'd really appreciate that. Now, in today's video, we are going to discuss the four categories that you may fall into whenever you're stacking silver or gold, for that matter. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, for me, I'm a little bit of all of these categories, so that's going to be the final, all right? So let's get into number one. Number one, a lot of people are starting to catch on to it, and that is the flippers, right? The guys who do the cowboy flips, right? The guys who they buy at the cheapest possible price, and then they go ahead and they flip it for another five, ten dollars a pop, right? I mean, you guys have seen it. I've done it myself. I have. I will. I will go ahead and say that I have done it myself. You know, things with extremely low mintages. Say, say this one right here. I think it has a mintage of maybe five or ten thousand. You want to get in on this early. You want to buy this coin right when it comes out, and then what you do is, is you sell it. You sell it for profit due to the low mintage or the mint that it comes from, and those are the keys to success as far as flipping. And you can just make your stack grow just from the profits of doing that. So the flippers, cowboy guys, guys who turn, you know, things like the, the Queen Anne's Revenge or uh, you name it. You know, the Zeus coin like like this one right here I just got. You know, this was from a flip that someone else did. I missed out on buying these, which I was bummed about. But hey, I got one anyway. But I had to pay an extra premium because there's only 13,000 minted of them. So someone sold this to me and then I'm a happy customer. And that's the art of flipping. Same thing with this one. And this, I'm pretty sure you guys know who it was. It was Silver Heist. I missed, uh, I think you can still get this one. But I was. I went ahead and bought the Zeus. So I, I wanted the Brumby as well. So I went ahead and bought both from him. And it's a great way to add value to your stack as far as the collectors. And flipping actually puts profit back into your pocket so you can make your stack grow organically. You can just turn your stack for free, essentially. You can use those profits to make your stack grow. And these two coins are going to lead me into the next type of stacker. And those are your collectors, those who enjoy the numismatics they enjoy the beauty they enjoy the collectability right like the series stuff like uh the marvel series i have not gotten all the marvels yet i am in the process of hunting them down as as far as i can you know if i can find them i'm in that process of of hunting them down because i gotta finish the series right because i'm collecting the series so you're going to end up paying a little bit of a premium to get these coins. And that's the, the issue with collectors. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there really isn't. I mean, you're adding value to your stack. And collector coins, you know, I, <laughs> I've i been a collector all my life. So it's nothing new to me. Uh, that's the, all I have of the Marvel. So I have, I have some work to do, as you guys know. But here's another one that that a lot of people are after is the Royal Fortune. It's the uh, second of the series and there's gonna be another one next year. People are gonna want that, you know what I mean? So collecting is fun. I enjoy it. I, I am a sucker for these these Canadian privies. I've, I've mentioned that several times. I, I do enjoy buying these. I, I love them because they are reverse proofs and reverse proofs are probably the some of the coolest things you can get uh I, I really do enjoy them and i got this one recently this is another collector item right it's in a slab i mean if you're just a bullion stacker you know you don't you know get things like this especially in a 
in a proof 69. You know, if you're going to do it, you would normally do it in a proof 70. But, hey, you know, like I said, it's, it's the collector side. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of people that do it. Uh, I, I, Like I said, I'm guilty. Guilty as charged, man. I, I, I enjoy collecting. That's how I really got into stacking was was through collecting, like the Kookaburros. Like, I got a long way to go on, on the Kookaburro series. And that's going to lead me into the the next uh, type of stacker. And that is the guys who, who are just after the weight, right? You know, just like, you know, your bullion, right? Your maples right here, uh, your generics right here, your buffaloes, and your, your silver eagles, right? Things like this. You know, you're just buying it for the weight you're just trying to get the lowest dollar cost average and it's the best way really arguably one of the best ways to stack because you're stacking as cheap as possible right you're getting things like this let me get that out of there you're getting things like this junk silver right you're gonna buy this stuff for as cheap or as close to spot as possible, right? You're in it for getting the weight. And I picked this up last week and I forgot to show you guys. But been at, been hunting one of these for a while. It's kind of one of those collector things. But it is a great piece. Really great piece. So the generics, right? You want to focus on those. You want to get them as close to spot as possible. Uh, you want to buy things like your, you know, like your big bars, right? Let me get a couple for you. You wanna get things like this because, hey, you know, it's closest to spot as possible. And I like to, to stack my bars. I like to stack the Sovereign bars, right? The Royal Canadian Mint. And I like to stack, you know, the uh, Britannia bars because everybody knows them. Everybody recognizes it. So that's the best way to stack as far as adding weight and adding value to my stack. Now, that's that's three of them right there. OK, so the fourth one is, as you can tell, is pretty much what I am. And that is a little bit of everything. I stack for weight. I stack for collectability and I flip. I've done several flips in in. A lot of people who just buy silver, for the most part, they don't do that, right? They don't believe in ever selling their silver, and that's fine. I understand that. But for me, I, if I can add things like this, the Silver Eagle, if I can add this to my stack as cheap as possible by selling some high collectible silver that someone is going to value, then absolutely, I see no problem whatsoever in doing that. Uh, it's, it's just a great way to add value to your stack. You know, I have an affinity. This is probably my second favorite is, is the maples outside of the silver eagles just because of number one is it borders our nation. And number two is four nines fine. And it's just a clean silver. It's just gorgeous. Uh, probably not the obverse, but hey, that's a whole nother story. But. For me, man, is it's all about adding that weight. And and if you if you are about the weight, then you obviously you want to stack your generics, your you know, your buffalo rounds, right? You know, you want to stack this stuff. You want to stack your bars, right? You want to get that stuff as cheap and as close to, to spot as possible. And whenever, you know, hot coins like this come out, you know, you might want to have some reserve set aside, you know probably four or five hundred dollars for whenever that next hot coin comes out and then you can add probably another two hundred dollars of free silver to your stack right that's a great way to do it man it's a great way to add just more weight to your stack if you are a weight stacker so being a flipper is is it actually pays off there's you know just ask any lcs if you don't believe me that's what they do they flip everything in their store and they add money to pay their bills and they actually add to their personal stacks so don't think that that doesn't happen right those guys you know they got to collect right you know they got a stack so flipping flipping it does pay off you just you just got to pick the right coins and the right mint whenever you're going to do it that's that's the main thing as far as flipping now if you are collecting 
uh, if you if you just buy something off of a whim, pretty soon you're going to have a whole bunch of silver that you're just like, why did I buy all this again? So you have to you have to kind of rein yourself in. You know what I mean? You, you want to collect a series, but you don't want to stretch yourself out so far that you can't also buy the nice bullion things like your maples, your eagles, uh, your generics or your bars because you actually you know you, you still need to add that weight to your stack even though if you are just a hundred percent collector there's nothing wrong with that it's just you have a lot of value in one coin versus you know multiples of these that's the only difference between a collector and a weight stacker and that's how I'm gonna explain it to you today I know Yankee did a video on this a while back and I, I just want to say I want to appreciate I reached out to him and said, hey, do you mind if I go ahead and do this video? And he said, sure, why not? Go ahead. And I will leave a link to that video down in the description below for you guys to go check it out because his video is totally different. So go check out his video and get back to me. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. And don't forget, man, keep grinding on your stack.